This species on here is Acronicta funeralis and it's one of the caterpillars I study. And so what I did is I took a photo of it and I used spoonflower.com to make fabric and then I made it into a dress. This way I can have the perfect insect clothing uh, with the species that I study that I can't get anywhere else. And I thought it'd be appropriate to wear today because I was talking about the species in my talk. I mean, I don't study bees, but I found this in Macy's like on 80% discount, <laughs> the bottom of the bin. And I was like, I need a new meeting bag. So I got a new meeting cool. bag. So this is a tie that we bought from one of the displays at the entomology meeting years ago. So I love the tie, and it's also something that every year when I come back to the display and have an exhibit here, I bring this tie along. Yeah, well, I have this uh, little bee pin, which um, my friend Kim Hung got it for me in Montreal when she was there last summer. They actually were having a pretty cool exhibit about uh, sort of the lifestyle of Napoleon, I believe. And interestingly enough, he used honeybees to decorate a lot of his personal effects. It was a, sort of a symbol of royalty at that time in France. So this bee is specifically from one of his designs that he used as a motif on a lot of his belongings. Uh, people in my family know very well that I love insects. I yeah. love anything with insects in them. And uh, this is made out of, like I tell my students, it's made out of insect spit. Insect saliva, it's, um, it's from the uh, mulberry silk moth. Mm -hmm. And I use it when I give my silk lecture. And um, I also talk about it and wear it mm -hmm. when I do my speech on entomophagy. Uh, I am very into fashion, and so um, I'm also into bugs, and so I look out for insect fashion all over the place on the internet, and I happened upon this in a dress form, so I sought out to find it in a shirt. I study bumblebees, so usually when I buy insect fashion, I buy things with um, bees on them, um, and I also got these at Mod Cloth. It's a great place to get insect fashion. Hi, my name is Holly Watney, and I have socks. I actually am wearing insect socks every day uh, for Entomology 2014. This is my second time with Lepidopter and socks, um, but um, tomorrow I'm wearing honeybee socks, which are very exciting. I, uh, it, socks are kind of a trademark of mine. I don't uh, knee-high socks specifically. Worn over tights like so. I'm, I'm looking for some good beetle socks that aren't cute little ladybugs, which are really hard to come by.